and here is contents. First, I will talk about the system overview. And uh, there are two advances from SRA 18 in the last year. Uh, one is deeper and more discriminative expected structure. And the other is domain adaptation using labeled in domain data set. Uh, in the end, uh, I will show results on development set and evaluation set. This uh, is system overview. Our, our primary system is a fusion of seven subsystems. All of seven subsystems use the same pipeline based on the survey dating submission. Our input is speech. Our 40 dimension MFCC is extracted. Then a neural network based voice activity de detection is applied. Our next X vector is extracted. We used uh, advanced our own technique for this part in the last year. For example, manage head attentive pooling. Uh, submission in this year also based on this this uh, expector structure. And then our uh, expector are centralized by in domain expector mean. Next, HTPLDA uh, is used for scoring. We used unsupervised domain adaptation in the last year. Uh, in the end, uh, score normalization and calibration is applied. Uh, <coughs> major advance in this year is uh, uh, there are two major advances. Uh, one is uh, expect type structure part. We use the deeper and the more discriminative expect type structure. And the uh, second part is the HTPLDA part. We use the domain adaptation <coughs> using labeled in domain data set. Uh, let's go <coughs> the details. Uh, this is our expect type structure part. Uh, main uh, difference from the last year is we used very deep neural network. It has 43 layers. These are uh, three values. Uh, means first, the first five means kernel size, and this one means dilation rate. And 512 means output dimension. So this is one, uh, one layer TD, TDNA. And this, uh, this quote is residual block. Uh, because we use this very deep neural network, so for avoiding gradient vanishing problem, uh, we used residual blocks. Uh, we also replaced this function with additive margin softmax. Uh, some study shows uh, improvement with this so, uh, loss function, so we followed uh, the studies. And we also tried SA block insertion. SA block uses a uh, statistic spooling. Uh, it output global context, for example, mean <coughs> of all frames and standard deviation from all, all frames. And the, uh, using the global context, uh, it output zero to, from 0 to 1 and uh, it multiplication, it multiplied with original output from this layer. So this SE block is uh, used for soft channel selection. Uh, we expect this enhanced neural network. Uh, we also tried adding training data. Our system uses pool of previous SRE data Switchboard data and the box set. Not only, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 
adding to this data, uh, we collected YouTube video data following the box setup procedure. Uh, even if this is still out of domain data, but uh, if we increase number of speakers, uh, we can expect neural network can improve. So we add this data for one expected structure. Uh, we also tried adding SRAT evaluation data for expected training because this is in domain data in this year. So we just uh, pull all this SRAT data and this large number of out of domain data. Then we got neural network. <clears throat> this is, uh, as I mentioned, we have seven expected extractor. This table shows the configuration. Uh, from, 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 sorry. from front one to front three, a uh, difference is loss function. Front one uses naive softmax loss. Front two and three use additive margin softmax loss with different hyperparameters. Front 4 and 5 uses a several number of SC blocks. Front 6 uses in-domain data, SRAT variation data for expected training. And Front 7 uses our own private YouTube video data for expected training. OK, second. Uh, part is back end part. We are uh, in this year small speaker level in domain set, it means SRE 18 variation set is used for domain adaptation of PLDA. Uh, our approach is a tandem approach of coral plus and linear interpolation. I will explain the detail. Uh, this figure shows. Uh, our approach in the last year, our uh, only SRE18 unlabeled set is a, was available in the last year, so we applied unsupervised domain adaptation named Coral Plus. Uh, then uh, we could get pursued in domain PLDA, which is closer to in domain than out of domain PLDA. Uh, in this year, we have SRE 18 evaluation set, so we also trained in domain PLDA. And uh, we uh, applied linear interpolation between this in domain PLDA and pursuing in domain PLDA. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we expect this is closer to in domain data than out of the open domain PLDA, so we don't use linear interpolation with this to uh, be select linear interpolation with this to PLDA. Uh, let's go to results. This table compares, uh, uh, this table shows the effectiveness of deep neural network very deep neural network. First line is first line result is uses only five layer tDNA in the last year submission. And this year, uh, this line is uh, this year submission. This uses uh, 43 layer. Uh, this uh, deep neural network provided large improvement you can see in the table. So this is very big. Uh, this is very very important. Uh, next, uh, we will be able to compare our subsystems, our seven subsystems. Uh, from front one to front three, difference is the function. Uh, compare compare these three. Uh, front three shows the best 
performance. Uh, Proto3 uses additive margin softmax loss, so we can say AM softmax loss with this parameter was effective. And the front four and five was using a C block, but in this CMN2 task, uh, we can see improvement compared to front three. Uh, we don't know the reason still, so uh, this, uh, more discussion will be needed for this part. And uh, front six and seven use the additional training data. Compared to front three, uh, front six uh, shows the improvement. Front six uses SRE rating variation set for training, so addition of in domain small in domain uh, data set was effective. Okay, this is the last result. Uh, this table shows different backend result. This coral plus means uh, unsupervised domain adaptation used in the last year. And these two uses SRE 18 variation set, but this linear interpolation means linear interpolation between our out of domain PLDA and in domain PLDA. But this is our approach. We interpreted this, this pursuit in domain PLDA after Coral Plus and in domain PLDA. Our approach shows the best performance compared to other approach. So we can say our approach was effective. Okay, I, I want to conclude my presentation. Uh, we got significant improvement from SRE by the following method. First, it was D3 layer deep neural network. Second is AM softmax. Third is expected training with in domain set. Fourth is tandem approach of coral plus and linear interpolation for PLDA. And I want to discuss I want to add one discussion for adding in domain data set. Uh, because <coughs> in previous table, uh, all of the subsystem uses adapted backend, adapted with, uh, adapted by SRE 18 variation set, but uh, not only backend, but also front end. Front end needs in domain data sets. So we just put a training set, out of domain training set and in domain set training set. But we think it is, it's not enough. So if we have more sophisticated domain adaptation method for expected training, it will be effective. Okay, that's uh, that's it. Thank you.